Good morning, I'm Steve Moore with Organic Technology and Virgin Farms. Virgin Farms is an extension of our research and demonstration farm in the South Valley of Albuquerque. We're going to be showing and demonstrating different events that go on all this growing season. And the, to start out with, we're going to be showing how we're using crude oil and coal. The coal is coming from Peabody Coal Mine at the El Segundo mine site over by Grants, as well as the crude oil from Roswell to demonstrate the application of crude oil and coal instead of using the energy to burn it up in the atmosphere to be used in the garden to grow energetic food. It gives us a lot better application to incorporate it into our soils and have it broke down by the bacteria and then convert those carbons and, and minerals all into growing healthy energetic food. So today we're gonna to start out by drop spreading our uh, coal finds that we got from Peabody Coal Mine. On this particular one, we're gonna, we're gonna go over the top of this with crude oil to do a combination on this one where it'll have coal, which is the dry version of organic fertilizer, and then the liquid version of it, which is the crude oil. In the coal, the BTU is the energy source that burns the carbon. The crude oil is actually kind of the liquid version of coal. The liquid version of it is very volatile because it's not encaptured into the fossilized organic material. This real rich carbonous material that we're using for petroleum to burn and run energy has a lot more potential in enriching the soil carbons that have been depleted or never were here to actually grow and convert it to food. And again, the primary reason for doing this and demonstrating this is because I don't believe that the, the proper presentation of value of crude oil and coal have been properly used. And the stigma behind all of it is very bad as far as showing the greasy ducks and all the contaminated issues of what crude oil has caused, but anything in excess can be a toxin. We've done this before, even last year in a certain area. There's a four foot swath from here to the chickens, 70 feet long. July 4th, we put 30 gallons of crude oil on this whole thing, all videoed, documented. <laughs> So it's about nine, nine weeks, nine to 10 weeks max right now. And this is what it looks like. But I've been working in the oil remediational field since the early 90s. So about 25 years of cleaning up different oil spills. And our observations have always been that the vegetation in those geographic areas where there's been oil spills, you give it a little bit of time, even unmanaged, you end up with a very rich vegetational growth. Like the Valdez, the Exxon Valdez spill has incredible fishing in the Valdez because all of that crude oil that was finally broke down and turned into like a liquid fertilizer for the bay to grow vegetation to, uh, to support the aquatic life, the fish. So in our, in our work with this, we end up with, with no aflatoxins, no chemical residue, because this is literally, literally organic material. It's the best you can get that was created in the Genesis. So it's the dirt, the, the vegetation that dinosaurs have consumed. So that's all been decomposed and fossilized, and that's when you have coal. And if it's still in a liquid state, then it's pumped out of the ground as crude oil. But the, the lasting effect of this is that you can see how black and rich it is. And most people all look at, judge their soil by how dark and rich it is to support biological life and the diversity of biological life. So when you run a test on crude oil, 
and you run through the elemental chart of nutrients and, and minerals, it's hard to come up with anything that is complete as what coal and crude oil um, test with. So we'll get started on this, the remediation process of breaking down the paraffin is the biggest problem with this. And the paraffins are actually what kind of binds the soil together to where oxygen and water won't penetrate. So the paraffins are light, short end hydrocarbon ends, carbon chain, which the, the bacteria will break that down. Then you'll just have a black, rich, carbonous material to be transferred to but by the bacteria broken down to the exudates then would be a plant food. Okay, so now we've gotten the coal spread and the crude oil on top of it. We're gonna start with part of the other minerals that'll help accelerate the breakdown of the crude oil as well as some of the carbon compounds and help adjust with the pH. So we have some different minerals that we draw from, volcanic ash and different things. We're gonna put the the steps, you put the steps involved right now. So we'll, we'll start on that. Okay, now what we're doing is we're, we're spraying the bacteria down over the top of this. As we're, as he's driving down there, you can see it spraying out to inoculate the ground to be able to break, start the breaking down process of the carbon, the hydrocarbons, the coal, the whole thing. And the product that they're using right now is it comes from Organic Technology International. It's Nature's Bio. It's a trademark product that has a, a very complicated, diverse, natural occurring organisms in a process that we generate ourselves at our production facility. And this is where we're doing it as far as demonstrating how you can do it so that we can educate more people around the world to be able to use this type of technology to convert these natural deposits of crude oil, coal, to actually rejuvenate their, their soils for healthy vegetation instead of using the isolated crack chemical fertilizers that are currently being used that have depleted the energy and the value in our soil. Now what we're gonna end up doing is running our uh, mulch cover, drip taped, fed row down through here. And what it's gonna do is gather all the dirt, plus what we've put down, the crude oil and the coal, all, the, all of it will be all gathered into one conglomerate of, and then come right out the back here and it'll look like the row right here that Nicole is standing by. That's what we're ultimately gonna convert that row into looking like this, and then we can go ahead and plant it. Quieres marchar, me quieres dejar, quieres buscar otro amor, vete y no vuelvas más, sigue con tu andar hasta el fin de tu ilusión. Se quiere tanto, se ama tanto y ese es el pago que das a un cariño y una esperanza de alguien que sabe amar. Si no sentías amor sincero porque dijiste que sí, para que ahora tienes tu prisa, sabes que te extrañaré, vete ya no vuelvas más. 
There, as you can see, that's the same thing that we've put down on the ground to validate that it's, it's actually a crude oil, it's raw, un, un, or unfiltered, Not, nobody's done anything to it. It came right out of the wellhead and there's that much volatile activity with it. And if we were able to, we could take the coal and set it in a smudge thing and eventually it takes a little more heat to get it going but we could demonstrate the uh, application of the volatiles on the, or the BTU rating on coal. This is actually a volatile BTU rating or the amount of heat and energy that can come off of the crude oil. So this is what we've treated out here in the garden. And what we're gonna be able to do then is convert this kind of energy into the energy of growing good, healthy, healthy uh, vegetation carrots, tomatoes, whatever we're gonna plant out here. We'll have a progressional videos to show the planting stage and the growing stage as we go along this summer. Stay tuned and keep watching and we'll follow up with more of this as the season goes on. From Virgin Farms in Albuquerque, New Mexico, I'm Steve Moore, thank you.